little uh, shoe review today. Um, these are the Archies from Grenson. Um, normally I like to do a full review from you know, the start of my ownership of shoes right through to you know, six months, 12 months and then resoling. Um, these shoes I actually bought for my wedding, which was before I started my YouTube channel. So I've never actually got around to reviewing these, um, but they've now got to the point where they definitely need a resole. So a leather sole, and we've worn through to the uh, the rubber layer there. The heels are really worn, and you know, frankly, I've had them five years. I've worn them in rotation. I've really enjoyed them. So it's time to get them resold. So I thought that well, this is as good a time as any to do a review. So these, as I say, are the Archies. They are a really attractive brogue. The sort of the, the hole patterns and the thickness of the sole I really find very attractive. They're, they're kind of almost like if you were going to draw a caricature of a brogue, they would look like this. You know, the exaggerated hole pattern, great big thick leather stacked soles. I just really like them. They're, they're, they're quite good fun shoes. Now Traditionally, brogues aren't a formal shoe. Um, I think you you put them on on Fridays, you leave the city and head for the country. But you know, for me, uh, they're great in the workplace with, say, grey suit trousers. I really like it. Um, probably not as formal as some would wear, but I just really enjoy them. Um, they just make me smile. They're nice, nice styling. Um, so these have reached the end of their current life. They do need resoling. These are the first leather soles I've ever had. Um, I've now got other shoes with leather soles, but these were the first ones I've ever had. So I obviously had some reservations about how leather soles would perform. I thought they'd be slippy. I thought they'd be, um, they, they'd have a short life. I thought they'd be terrible in the wet. I thought they'd wick up the water and you'd get wet feet. Um, none of that is actually true. Um, certainly with these, maybe it's because it's got this thick rubber layer running all the way through it. Um, they certainly don't um, absorb water and they're really quite hard wearing. Um, these have been worn a lot and uh, not just around the office. You know, I, I always take a walk at lunch times at 20 minutes uh, at the office so that they get a few miles put on them. So these have been pretty robust and hard wearing. Having said that, um, when I get to resole, um, I think I might go for the commando sole. I do like a rubber sole. And I've seen these uh, with a commando sole and they look really great. Um, again, exaggerated, chunky sole, um, just really sets them off. It certainly has a really good country style to it. Overall, uh, the leather, the stitching, no real faults at all. I certainly haven't looked after these. These are looking quite pale and dry at the moment. Um, I haven't really uh, cared for these in the way one should. Um, so in terms of boot care or shoe care rather, formal shoes, um, for a brogue, what I currently do is, so every uh, couple of weeks or maybe month, I'll either put on a, a coloured shoe cream. This is a, a medium brown from Herring, um, down in Kingsbridge, which is a really nice little shop locally to me. Um, so that's a medium brown shoe cream. So that restores some of the colouring. And then in rotation, I'll be using a, a clear polish, uh, like this, uh, I think it's Sophia. Um, really good clear polish, um, lasts a long time, bit of a funny smell but really does a good job. So I'd use those two in rotation and just to keep the, the edge of the shoe looking nice, um, it does, well I never like to see that going all pale and chipped. Um, so something a bit darker uh, like this brown from Church's, um, just rubbed into the edge, let, soak, uh, let it soak in and then sort of polish it off. So. That would be my normal cleaning regime. Uh, I haven't looked after these. If I had, they might be looking a little bit nicer like these uh, Brogue boots from Herring. You can see nice deep colours, perfect edging, no scuffs, nice shine, a well-fed leather really. Um, but as I say, these haven't been looked after as much as I'd like. Um, those Herrings, I'll be doing a sixth month review very shortly on those. Great boots, rubber, dianite, sole, um, really hard wearing as well. Um, so these, as I say, haven't been looked after. 
I was going to give them a polish for video, but because I'm going to send them off for um, resoling and reconditioning, I thought I'd actually send them back in a bit of a bit of a sad state, really, and see what work Grenson will do to these. So these will cost £110 to resole. The choice is the, the, the buyers in terms of whether you want the leather sole put back on or indeed they'll swap out to the to the uh, Commando rubber sole. They repair the heel on its own for £50. Um, and actually I do wear my heels quite hard. I'll walk over the side, um, as you can see there. Now, I've always wondered, I don't know if any of you uh, guys have ever used it, but segs, they're like a little metal stud which you nail into the corner there and it just stops that uneven wear. I might give those a go. I just need to feel like find the right shoes at the right time to do, them, do that. Um, I think this would have been a good opportunity because you can see the leather patch, uh, sorry, the rubber patch has worn off and we're well into that leather stack. And if we'd had opportunity to nail a little leather uh, metal segs stud into there, I think that would have really helped balance out the wear. So, just looking over the shoes, um, you've got a nice, uh, what I'd call a triple welt. I don't think that's what uh, Grenson would call it, but I think they call it a Norwegian welt maybe. But this extra um, rib of leather, or upstander leather going around the edge there, um, that basically gives you one more layer of protection against um, water splashes, so it doesn't immediately soak into the upper. It's just got this little buffer here. Really quite a nice detail again. I like the detailing on this shoe. Um, very nice even stitching around the edge. Yeah, just a really nicely made shoe. I do believe this is made probably not in England. Um, I don't think they, they've, they outsource most of their shoes now apart from their premium ranges. Um, but I've certainly got no fault in the leather or the construction on these shoes. Um, interestingly, the, the right shoe hasn't worn through so much so on the on the forefoot, um, kicked off the toes a bit, but yeah, I just really enjoyed these shoes and certainly looking forward to getting them resold. Um, if you're interested in these uh, shoes, um, for some reason the Archies with the leather soles often come up in sales. Uh, I think I got these probably approaching half price, um, so almost the same price as getting them resold. I'm keeping my eye, eye out for some more. Um, if they turn up before I've sent these off for resoling, I might reconsider, but it is the leather sole which comes up cheap, not the Commando. So we'll be getting those off, um, and I'll do a video once they're all back and resold. Um, in terms of sizing, I think it's worthy of note that these are a G fitting, so really nice and wide. Um, brogues typically come in a sort of what you call a country last, so wider fitting. Um, for thicker socks, but these are super wide. Um, that leads to, for me, a really comfortable shoe. Um, I'd certainly recommend you consider going down half a size. Um, these are seven and a half, normally I'd go for an eight, um, but certainly seven and a half, plenty big enough in this last. Um, also being a wide shoe, it gives some really nice proportions. They look really good. Um, you know, even under a sort of slightly uh, more generous cut of trouser, they just look very nicely proportioned with that wide last. Okay, so I'll quickly zoom in for a couple of close-ups just so you can see the detail, the quality of the stitching. Um, and Start then we'll for a little close-up look on the shoe here. Um, as I say, the nice uh, triple welt construction around the edge, giving a little bit of waterproofness or extra waterproofing. Nice even stitching around the edge. The thick stacked leather, uh, leather soles with the the rubber there just there. Equally nice tidy stacking on the heel. Lots of wear. Well in need of resole. I think the stitching's of a good quality all round. Certainly no fraying over the years. Just pop out the, uh, the shoe tree. Obviously shoe tree is essential to keeping your shoes looking nice. Inside you've got leather lining. Nice red footbed. Yeah, so quite a the end of the video. Um, as I say, really enjoyed 
these shoes over the years. Um, kind of sad that I didn't do a full review for them when I got them, but that was before the channel started. Um, I look forward to getting them resold. Probably going to go commando, so to speak. Commando rubber soles on them. Um, and we'll do an update. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Love quality footwear, boots, denim, uh, everyday carry, fountain pens, and pen knives, coffee, cycling, all sorts of different stuff. Um, all my hobbies I sort of always put to the channel. Um, check it out. Uh, we might share some common interests. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'd love it if you subscribed. Okay, we'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.